Blender is great in everything, but there are some aspects where it struggles and many 3D artists find themselves frustrated because of that. So a few years ago, there was a young 3D artist who experienced a freelancer career full of prosperity, but later on found himself on a mission to create a 3D tool that solved a huge rendering issue in Blender, and he came up with a leading product in this genre. So what is this tool in question and how it solved these problems? This Blender tool is actually an add-on that goes by the name of Shaders Plus, which is hands down one of the most popular and leading add-ons for achieving a collection of industry standard shaders effects which Blender has always historically struggled with. If we read between the lines, it serves as a way to close a gap between some features that popular render engines such as Octane offers, but Cycles unfortunately lacks. But what is it exactly? Well, I don't want to turn this into a boring physics class, but the idea is that it simulates a series of real-world physics phenomena that computer graphics engines have always had difficulties with, and produces renders that simply look gorgeous. There are three of them, and these are, first of all, dispersion, which is a prism colorful effect that is a separation of visible light into different colors. We also have thin film, which is, in simple words, the natural interference of light to create how light waves are being reflected on surfaces or off surfaces. Last but not least, caustics, which is a term that is used to describe the patterns of light and color that occur when light rays are refracted from a surface such as water, which is transparent, and it is a commonly used technique in iconic movies such as Blade Runner. Look, I know the idea behind these might seem complicated, at least when you hear it for the first time, but all that matters about them is that they can produce wonderful looking shader effects that Blender would struggle with otherwise, and with these effects and shaders, you can take your art to the next level. But the question now is, how does it do that? And how this artist slash developer created these effects in Blender in the first place? So let's take a look at the backstory of this mastermind who is behind this magic. Before we continue, do you want to create environments like these? If the answer is yes, then this course by Max Hay is the perfect pick for you. Throughout this training, you will learn how to build each of these environments from scratch, picking up along the way important concepts like composition, modeling, lighting, rendering, and so on. You can also check some of the stuff people created following the course. Another bonus for choosing this course is getting the full fantasy slash sci-fi asset pass, which is fantastic. And to check it out, you can click the link in the description down below. This Blender add-on was created by Cody Setchfield, better known online as S-Mouse. He is a 25-year-old artist whose journey into the world of 3D began at an impressively young age of around 7 or 8 years old. In an interview he kindly gave to Inspiration Tuts, he shared the nostalgic story of how it all started. On an old laptop with a copy of Cinema 4D, his dad got him. And after teaching himself the ins and outs of the software, his dedication eventually paid off. After he reached a point where he could start taking on clients' work. And from there, he mainly focused on working on live tour visuals, as well as various commercial projects with the help of Cinema 4D. But that was until 2020, which at that moment, he decided to make a major step in his career by switching to Blender. I know, it can be surprising to many, but it was a decision that was made after careful consideration. Blender was appealing to him because it was a software that was able to stand on its own, much more strongly than anything else he ever used, and because it offered some really exciting features, especially with the community add-ons. I mean, he sees himself as both a generalist and more of a technical artist who enjoys developing his custom tools and solutions, so he fell in love with Blender for allowing much more technical projects, with its procedural shaders, geometry nodes, and add-ons. And to be honest, Blender right now is the most exciting 3D software, especially for those who want to make third-party add-ons and plugins. However, coming from Cinema 4D, 
you notice that cycles lack certain features that are incredibly useful and necessary for a realistic render engine. I'm talking about of course dispersion, thin film and caustics because they can produce incredibly realistic results and bringing that subtle but important level of realism to our everyday projects. For the case of caustics, you are able to achieve real-time caustics results with thin cycles and replicate how shadow caustics work through a shader, which is easy and simple to use, but tweaking the different values it contains, such as strength, object shadow, and imperfections, so that we can produce all sorts of incredible caustics that tend to render faster than anything else in the scene, even on the lowest end hardware, which is very interesting. As for thin film interference, it relies on an extensive formula developed by PhD Robert Moreland and it uses more than a thousand vector math nodes to cycle through the natural interference range of light seamlessly. This means that we have precise control over the thinness of the film, if you will, and we can adjust things like width, intensity, as well as thin film IQR, similar to industry standard renderers like Octane, Redshift, and Arnold. And then we have dispersion. And just like the other ones, it comes with a collection of settings to customize the effects to match our desired looks, such as intensity and saturation. But here is the thing. Unlike other alternatives in the market, it does not use multiple shaders to create an RGB split as a trick to produce an unrealistic colorful effect. Instead, it recreates a physical prism effect with the help of only one shader, which mimics physically accurate light. Shaders Plus also comes with 69 drag and drop and easy to use standard Shaders Plus presets, as well as 6 modular presets to offer tons of options and freedom to work with and produce industry standard results within Blender. As you might expect, developing an add-on of this level for the first time wasn't an easy feat, and a road that was filled with adversity. So it all started as a test project about a year and a half before the big release, after Cody found himself trying to sell products again to bring home some extra money he urgently needed, which we'll get into later. But he developed everything himself, and to achieve this, he received along the way invaluable feedback and resources from friends and generous members of the community, and their support and guidance helped guide him in the right direction. To produce add-ons, he stated that every product he creates comes from problems he faces during his own workflow, and according to that, he makes the tools for himself first, and then he decides if it is something he can share with the community and make it as a product. However, it is only possible within a set of rules he designed for himself. First, he evaluates his personal standard of quality, and then, if it is the case, he makes sure to spend some time developing a solid user interface, as well as implementing some automated functions, and finally, the cherry on top is making sure that everything is as simple and intuitive as possible without sacrificing quality and features. The success of Shaders Plus was far from being a coincidence or just luck, because behind closed doors, the developer highlighted that after spending a lot of time making the add-on, he additionally struggled with gaining consistent engagement. So when he got featured on AT Level, a popular computer graphics and game development news website, and gaining thousands of engagements on Twitter because of it, he expected the hype to run out quickly. However, staying consistent and feeding the community that showed up proved to be incredibly productive. But the narrative goes deeper than that, because in reality, he had no choice. You see, the developer was a full-time freelancer at the time, However, suddenly after a dry spell of work, he only had only a few months of rent left, which made him decide to release the add-on, with the hope that it would bring some much-needed income until he finds some new work. But little did he know that Destiny had different plans for him because month after month, the add-on began earning him enough to pay all his bills, and eventually, it even started to generate a significant profit to the point where the add-on development has evolved to become his full-time job, which means he's devoted now to making it better, answering questions, and bringing better features and updates to this incredible add-on. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, 
you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, I hope you guys found this story interesting and useful. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.